Welcome to the Occupational Safety Leadership Podcast, episode number 33, Hard Hat Testing Standards. Let's get started. So the reason I sat down and wanted to do this is, is because I always see where it says you got to have the ANSI Z89.1 standard. I had no clue what that meant. So I wanted to sit down and really read the standard and really kind of understand why that it has to be tested to this standard and and and, and not just that but um, I have found by doing just a simple internet search that I have found a, a lot of hard hats that maybe they are tested to Z89.1 they don't list it in the definition and all the marketing stuff so so maybe there's some out there that are not tested but let's sit down and go over the uh, definition of a hard hat first so um, hard hat is a type of personal protective equipment worn on the head to provide protection against impact, penetration, and electrical hazards in the workplace. And of course, they come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, you can find your traditional hard hats. You can find ones that look like cowboy hats. So you just need to figure out exactly what's going to work for you in your situation out there some are going to be for top protection only whereas others do both top and side protection but that's something that you have to figure out and what works for you in your workplace out there so when you look at a couple of the different uh, testing standards out there i i have found that it appears that many companies that tested to the u.s standard the ANSI z89.1 also tested to other standards so they can get into into that marketplace too so we have the canadian standard the z94.1 uh, the european standard en397 and then for australia and new zealand we have the as dash nzs 1801 so we are not going to cover these last three but it appears that uh, at least by u.s standards um that anybody who went through the testing process uh is also trying to get into those uh markets too so um you may see where it's both ANSI and en tested and vice versa so let's specifically look at the uh, ANSI Z89.1. So, and this is a, um, a definition I'm taking exactly word word for word word for word right from a lot of um, places that I, I found this. So it says the uh, standard covers two types of industrial protective equipment: the type one, which is going to provide against impact on top of head only; type two does impact and sides of head. So these helmets must meet the requirements for electrical in, 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 insulation and for penetration resistance. So right from the get-go, we know that they're going out and testing these and they're really making sure that they're gonna meet these standards before they uh, um, send them out to the workforce, out to the market, I'm sorry. So let's look at, at, at a couple more things then. So they're going to also evaluate that impact resistance, penetration resistance, retention system strength, and the flammability of the shell then. So, and like all things at the end, it has to be marked and approved in a certain way, shape, or form too. In the previous uh, podcast, we talked about expiration dates you know, and all that, depending on what company you get it from. It appears that most companies are every five years, but I have found a few that say every two to five years. So once again, kind of look and figure out exactly what's going to work for you. Um, the one thing that I've kind of noticed with my hard hat is, is just the way it's kind of shaped on top of my head. It has that real nice angle. So uh, it appears to uh, do a good job of, uh, of um, deflecting any 100% impacts from coming down. And the webbing, of course, will help to kind of spread out that force. So you still feel the force, but you don't feel, of course, obviously the, the full force then that's coming down then. Um, it does say that you have to go back and um, replace these after a significant blow. I don't know what that means, but that's something that if I visually looked at it, I could probably say, you know, I, I kind of think this meets it, you know. But again, unless you're going to really test it, I think these hard hats are very cheap and inexpensive. And if there's any question, you just yank it right out of service and get yourself a new one. But I know different companies have different mentalities when it comes to hard hats. Um, I have found that at the lower end 
hard hats they're generally speaking at this point about twenty dollars each and i have found quite a few for 150 dollars now they they claim because there's um the comfort and carbon fiber and all that kind of stuff the weight and but once again it's got to meet that ANSI z 89.1 regardless of what the price is and the marketing and there's all kinds of cool colors and things out there so I did a simple internet research then, you know, just kind of typing in a couple of keywords and see what brands would come back. And obviously I can't, I can't 100% speak for the brand and everything else. But once again, I found an awful lot that said that these were the, the greatest hard hat that's ever been invented by mankind. And it didn't list anywhere where they were tested to any standard out there. So that doesn't mean that they weren't tested to a standard, but I would assume that in your marketing brochures, your marketing, you're, you're trying to convince people to buy your product that you would also talk about that testing out there. So make sure that you know exactly what you're going to buy before that you buy it then. Uh, certainly wouldn't want to buy something because of either the price or the looks or it's got super cool webbing on the inside so you can wear it for hours. And then you find out that it's really not tested to any standard out there. So once again, contact that manufacturer. Make sure that you understand the complete details before that, before that you buy these then. That's it for episode number 33, Hard Hat Testing Standards. We just very briefly talked about the ANSI Z89.1. But also, that doesn't mean that... Um, when they tested it for the Z89.1, they also didn't uh, factor in the Canadian standards, European standards, and the Australian, New Zealand standards out there. So um, you have to find out something that works for you and your company with your hazards out there. If you wanted to have a type one impact only or a type two where it's both Im uh, impact straight down on the head along with side protection too. Uh, so episode uh, 33, uh, my name is Dr. David Ayers. Have a safe day.